How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Rank Report. We're back with the Rumble Glass team, and we're against Trick Room again. Are you, can we just play not Trick Room? That's all I want is to play not Trick Room. This is three Trick Room teams in a row. Ugh. Mm. I just can't really bring Bramble Glass into this either, because it just kind of sucks into Trick Room. Like, absurdly hard. There is an Urshifu. Maybe I use it to try and deal with the Urshifu. If they just go like a Gideon Bridge, I'm screwed. I think this is a Chiyu lead again. I, it, that's just, it just is. It's just a Chiyu lead. Um, and then, what's my back end? No, what do I leave with Chiyu? I go Iron Hands again, but I think they're probably just going to lead with their Psychic Train here. My thing to grow is like Scarf Urshifu on it. Also, we don't need speed on this. It's just max speed, okay. Um, so what's the build on Brown Glass? We need... It's max HP, max defense, bold Bramble Glass. That is very interesting. And not that useful here. Ah, is it useful here? Not really. Ah, it's good to Ursula and. I'll tell you what, I'll bring Bramble Glass back end this game. There you go. That's a nice compromise for you. I'll bring Bramble Glass back end. Do I just go Chi Flutter? I feel like I can just go Chi Flutter. I'm going to go Flutter. I'm going to go Bramble Glass. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go Iron Hunter. Just. Let's see what happens. In Bramble Glass, be trust, kind of. With straight stuff, that actually makes it kind of decent into a bunch of physical attackers. Um, so maybe, maybe with max HP, max defense, bold, I might live a hit I didn't expect to live, and then I can do some work with that. Okay, they are just going to armor and that. Right. Um, hmm. I don't think they really have much play against, like, Snarl Shadow Ball there, right? They can Terror and try and get Trick Room up, but then they just are uh, in a kind of not good spot and both their ones go to minus one. I think it's fine for me. weird lead because it doesn't really do much to guarantee the trick room goes up. Even though I can now just double up into the um, armor rouge. Which I feel like your opponent is always the thing you're most worried about here. They are going to terror. I'm assuming this is going to like terror grass armor rouge or something, but like I forced their terror out and I put both their mons both their monster minus one. Um, plus I am just going to get a chunk of damage down on armor rouge. So like all in all I think this is kind of still a fine turn. Kind of all I'll be honest, like, given that's how that did in the crit, like, a, a choice spec snarl is always going to pick that up. Um, it was Zoroark. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> that's so funny. I didn't even consider the Zoroark lead. So the crit was helpful there, but like, I think worst case scenario there is I get the Shadow Ball off on the Armor Rouge. Then I don't crit them. Um, they U-turn off themselves. The U-turn might have just killed that if I didn't crit them, funnily enough. Uh, but even if it doesn't, like, they're not going to take out my um, Chi from that range and then Snarl just picks them up. So I think I'm fine regardless, but yeah, that's that's just game over, I think, at this point. I don't know really much my opponent can do about this now. Um, there's Terra Fairy here. I could do just the damage. I think it's fine. I probably should target down the DD here actually, just to guarantee Trick Room go up, but. Yeah, that wasn't my opinion. Yeah, maybe Terra Fairy Moonblast into the DD with a third move, because now they get Trick Room up, which does give them an out. Okay, there. Very useful to note that they're, um,. Fairy move is Spring Toast one. Because Bramble Guard is immune to that. Um, if their Helping Hand. Is Helping Hand straight? How much does that do then? 50. Well, 48 to. Uh, to you. 
So, what? With a crit, that's 72. Harold crit potentially is a KO here on both my mons. Um. I go Star and Switch Flutter, I think, into Random Ghost. Eat a Springtide Storm. Because this just means if they go like help me out Springtide Storm, I will just consume the Springtide Storm and I will be fine. With my guy, Random Ghost. Here he is, the boy. Yeah, that's helping me out. Uh, so this might kill Chiu. I think it's a roll to kill Chiu here. I absorb that. Delicious, thank you. Choice of Pokemon five point to bring this game, I think. It's not all, um, I mean, I have to tower, can't do anything else. Did you miss the fire? I live! Go on, Bramble Ghost. Now's your chance. Show me what you got. There we go, we hit. Smack. Oh, wait, and I'm just blind. I could have gone for Shadow Sneak, I'm stupid. I was like, I can't Shadow Sneak, the Psychic Terrain. And then, for some reason in my brain, like, that form of an Amorous just doesn't look like a flying type. And so I forget that it is a flying type, but there you go. Either way, Bramble Ghost pulls through in the end. Um, yeah, the crit on... The crit on Armourage is fortunate, I think. Um, but like I said, at the same time, I don't think it's that impactful. Because either you're going to go for... Um, Like, you can't get both my mons. It's not going to work, because your spread move is a psychic type move. Um, if you KO my Flutter, just based on how much damage the Moonblast did, there, or the Shadow Ball did, sorry, uh, on a crit, like, even if you survive the U-turn from your own Zoroark, you're 100% dead to Snarl. Um, and if you go after the Flutter main, then I think I'd maintain speed advantage in the next turn, and I can just go for, like, if they bring in a DDO, just Icy Wind, um, and then I'm still fine. So I think in any situation there, with or without crit, I still am in a fine position. Um, but I mean, the crit helped. Um, the crit definitely helped. I'm surprised the crit even killed him. Like, I know Fluffy and Chiyu is strong. Like, obviously, that's going to do a lot of damage. But I'm still so surprised that a crit there killed. That must be like zero. Well, I guess it's weak armor stuff. It's going to be zero bulk armor, right? Just gonna be speed and special attack. Zero bulk armor rouge is a meme. Like, if that team doesn't win in closed team sheets, then it's hopelessly open team sheets. Um, there are no other players playing the game at the moment. Yeah. All right, we'll just cut to the start of the next battle. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, our next opponent is running Snow. This is not quite the same team, but a similar team to the one I was running last week. Um, where their game plan is just to dodge everything. So I think I will just set some up instead. Um, <laughs> I see your snow and I raise you. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> the heat trunk's gonna be annoying here though. Um, I think Yara's going to heat run. I need to be wary of freeze dry from, uh, from Articuno. I could also just go for um, Iron Hands here. I think it seems good. I'm going to go on Garrow's back end, actually. Again, this is not a Bramble Ghost game, because they have just Blizzard spam. I guess it could be Terra Steel Bramble Ghost. Uh, I guess Earth Power Heat Ram becomes a bit annoying for that as well. Um, hmm. That said, I don't hate Bramble Ghost as a switch in for Urshifu. If they lead, like, Urshifu uh, into this, I can just switch in Bramble Ghost and tank it. In which case, would I go Garrows or would I go for um, Iron Hands back end? We have all the Garrows here. Garrows is a good terror target as well here. I think Garrows is going to be my terror target this game. Yeah, I'm content with this. I'm content with this. Which means that they need, like, I can see them leaving, like, really with food, just going fake out and, um, and surging strikes. That's cool training, so I like that. 
Um, yeah, like fake out surgical strikes is kind of scary if they go like rid of the militia. Yeah. Iron depends on the track. Um, although interestingly, Bramble Glass does again wall this. Um, I could commit to Terra Water here. Just try and take out the Z-Tramp, but I don't think that's worth it because I think I really want Terra Flying on the Gyarados back end, right? Yeah, it's like really, really, really Terra Flying here. Um, this Taunt's just not going to do anything in this situation, but I don't want to. I could just overheat, honestly. The Bramble Gar. Uh, or I could just double switch, actually. I kind of don't hate double switch. Um, like, both these mods kind of. Well, mm, I maybe shouldn't have switched Garrow since the slot that's already weak to electric. That was a bit of a, a weird move. I think I should have switched the other way around, but. Yeah, I, sh I should have switched the other way around in hindsight. This is potentially a throw if they wild charge the Gyarados slot here. Um, okay, they just like that. I just make sure that they are going to go for a double up into it. Nope, they just wild charge the Gyarados slot. I have immediately thrown the game. I've just immediately thrown the game. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. I should have switched the other way around. If I switch that, yeah, I, there was no reason to switch the way around I did. I'm just dumb, basically. Um, okay, I'm going to Terra. Do I just, just lock into Water Terra Blast here? I think so. And we'll go for a... I guess I just Strength Sap the Iron Hands. Ugh, that was a really stupid play. Wait, why am I Strength Sap the Iron Hands? It's already at minus one. I'm not smart. I'm, I'm playing real bad here. I also didn't need to clear out the Heatran, given that my field is like not weak to it in the slightest. They do have four iron hands, I could have gone for an attack into that. And probably should have gone for an attack into that. It's a sociable. It's a bomber. Okay, well I wouldn't have done any damage anyway. Um Using the ability to terror steel here is very bad now. If I KO this, they just bring an Articuno and then I lose. That's just the unfortunate state of events. Um, Terra Blast. There you go. Plus KO, because it's a choice of XP for Terra Blast. Um, that's not going to do anything. I mean, it gets me some health back at least. Not the worst case scenario, I guess. Okay, that gives me a, a good chance to reset my um, Chiyu here. They haven't used Terra, have they? I need to scout for Terra on this um, Abomus Snow. I'm just going to go for um, Switch, Taunt, and Protect. I think it's the move here. Ideally, they just click Blizzard and like Fake Out or something to Chiyu and just take out my Tornadoes on the Switch in. Um, but I'm mostly doing this to reset my Chiyu's Choice Lock. Which would then allow me to go for, um, for example, Heatwave Power into a monster next turn to catch Terra. I guess another pretty good scenario for me actually is if I survive here, I can go for Sunny Day Switch to Chi next turn. Yeah, I'll go with Terra, so I'm guessing this is Terra Water here. I guess they don't know the specs, so that makes sense. Um, I don't know, Terra Water, yep. Yeah. Take my Bramble Ghost. And they're gonna go for. Okay. That's not good. And they will just KO. 
is. Of course it will. Um, so he's that last Pokemon, yeah. I don't think this Abomasnow is really threatening my GU here. The problem is I can click Blizzard and just clear out my Bramble Ghost immediately. Um, I have to make a call in the back here. If I think Articuno is in the back, then I go off the Iron Hands here so that my Chiyu can clean up. And if I think that uh, Urshfu or Rillaboom are in the back, then I go for um, a Bomb Snow to keep my Bramble Gloss safe. Okay. Big. That's very big. In the back. Rillaboom. Interesting. Okay. Hold on. Wait, they just boost my power with it. Okay, we clear out the Rillaboom. You're just dead. Please just land the power with If I land this, it kills. With the train boost, surely. Surely. Okay. Thank God. Right, that should do it. Bramblegoss now just like Bramblegoss never loses to um, Iron Hands, I don't think. Yeah, well, cheers for the terrain boost, I guess. It's not a very weird play to me, but go for it. Um, yeah, Bramblegoss never loses this. I've just got Heat Wave and Power Up again. Nice. Okay, we actually got some use out of Bramblegost um, in these ones. I mean, it didn't do much in the first game, but like, it was kind of effective in the second one. Um, mind you, if I'd missed that power whip, then it wouldn't have been nearly as effective. Um, or if I'd just got that cool roll. Um, but hey, it did something. So we'll take it. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed. I'm glad I finally did get to use Bramblegost for something, even if it wasn't much. I will see if I can use it more next episode. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, please do leave a like on the video, uh, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and also go follow me on Twitch. Link to that is in the description, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.